China is now allowing Tesla to transfer data for full self-driving overseas. This is a huge change to China's policy when it comes to Tesla and the data that they collect from Chinese roads, businesses, everywhere you can think of. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Biggest thing for Tesla right now is artificial intelligence, data collection, um, training their neural networks, improving their Tesla bot, and actually getting Tesla's full self-driving to be approved by regulators. And Tesla think that they can do that within the next year. Or even, I mean, if you ask Elon Musk, even sooner than that, based on Tesla's newest full self-driving update, which is about to come out within the next couple of weeks, Musk believes interventions will be almost eliminated. You're talking very close to being uh, permissible for self-driving, very, very close. And Tesla obviously is, is about to re remove the nanny. So remove the, the, the necessary part of nagging, the nagging in the car where you've got to hold it, it nags you. Uh, Tesla's going to re apparently remove that, which would be, it, would, it really would um, put them in a position where more people would be having lawsuits against Tesla. That assumes that full self-driving isn't you know, amazing or better than a human driver. It very well may be by the end of this year, who knows? Shanghai has compiled a list of data that can be transferred overseas without security assessments. And this document was seen by Reuters, meaning Tesla is now open to transfer data. It, it records through its vehicles. And it has uh, obviously hundreds of thousands of vehicles driving the roads in China. Now, the idea here, guys, is that those vehicles collect data. Tesla uses that data to train its neural nets for its artificial intelligence, for its full self-driving software. And Tesla really wants to get this approved in China. Now, it can then pivot away from just selling cars in China's blood, in China's real, you know, bloodbath, as Xpeng CEO called it, where automakers, almost all of them are selling at a loss now. Foreign firms, including financial companies and automakers like Tesla, have lobbied Chinese authorities to permit cross-border data sharing after Beijing tightened controls over domestically generated data in a national security drive. Now, as you know, you can't you, you can't technically use things like YouTube and Twitter in China. There's a lot the Chinese government bans, and this is all part of that kind of protection stuff. The 2022 rules, though, require all important offshore data transfers to clear security reviews by the Cyberspace Administration of China, causing enormous delays and concerns among foreign firms. It, it basically means there's, there's too much work involved here. You couldn't possibly have this essential um, Cyberspace Administration of China actually collect and check all the Tesla's data that it's, re that it's actually recording on a daily basis. You would need hundreds of staff to do this. It would just never be possible. So, so far, Tesla's data has, well, basically Tesla are not able to um, send that data outside of China, but that's about to change. Shanghai, China's market and business capital has created a, an initial list of ordinary data in three sectors, intelligent and connected vehicles, mutual funds, and biomedicine. These sectors require the least regulation for data transfers. Under a one-year project, companies registered in the city's free trade area where Tesla's Shanghai factory is located can transfer data on the list overseas without needing further security assessments. This opens the door for Tesla, meaning they could essentially they can essentially now send all this data, which they've collected, um, you know, hundreds of millions of miles, I believe, of data from Chinese EVs. They can send that data to the US, where Tesla have their you know, the supercomputer, their dojo supercomputer. And that would allow Tesla to essentially come up with a version of full self-driving that is, you know, improve their full self-driving for China using their US data centers. The document shared with companies at an event announcing the whitelist in Shanghai outlines plans for Lin Yang to become a hub for cross-border data and specifies scenarios for each of the three sectors classified as ordinary data. Details reported by Reuters based on the document were later confirmed by Chinese authorities, which announced the scheme on their website on Friday afternoon. The newly announced data transfer rules take effect immediately. This is not some long-term thing, it's now. As in Tesla, I believe it probably already started transferring that data. For the auto sector, this data includes manufacturing information such as procurement and stockpile, research and development, after sales services, and used car sales. The Shanghai government's event on Friday includes Tesla, Ford, and BMW. So 
So Tesla were involved in this. Elon Musk was obviously directly involved in this happening when he flew to China to discuss this, this kind of stuff with the Chinese Premier. Now, I believe the Chinese Premier had a discussion with Musk about the future of the planet, about the future of economics, about the future of robotics, about the future of artificial intelligence. And I'd say the Chinese Premier might be a little bit more clued in than Joe Biden, um, probably. And I believe he's probably listened to some of Elon Musk stuff, which a lot of the West, we're, we're saying Elon Musk is a bad dude. But we can't really ignore the fact he's very, very intelligent. And he's following a lot of things Tony Sieber has said we should be doing. And basically, um, he's probably the only CEO of any global large car company who actually is probably, probably listening to what Sieber's saying and actually putting that in place, you know, pivoting Tesla away from trying to sell 20 million cars a year and pivoting them more into artificial intelligence, which is the right move. Shanghai's pilot project follows company demands for more clarity around cross-border data transfers. Data transfer permission was a topic when Musk met with government officials, including the Premier, um, only last weekend. So this has happened about a week after Musk's visit to China. Tesla has focused on efforts to secure China's regulatory approval for tra transfer data generated by its EVs out of China for, for self-driving. But at the same time, Tesla's also been able to get its for self-driving approved by Chinese authorities. Um, as long as they continue to work on this project with, in conjunction with a Chinese um, map manufacturer, a Chinese maps company who also have their own robo taxis, Tesla now has permission to basically get its it's full self-driving approved in China. Reuters reported on Friday that Tesla is pushing ahead with plans to power the global development of its self-driving system with data from China that will be that can be processed now in the country and all it sounds like sent back to the United States. Keep in mind Tesla are planning to unveil their robo taxi on the 8th of August this year. Now, the 8th of the 8th, right? Is that a coincidence? No. I mean, as Tesla North reported, the number eight is a lucky number in China. It sounds wacky, but eight, eight, this is something, you know, Musk is clearly thinking about here to, to make it eighth of the eighth, eighth of August. I mean, yeah, numbers and things like that really, really matter in China. So I think there could be a, a key reason for that number. Guys, let me know what you think. Is that silly? Is that serious? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.